Royal Australian Air Force's 9 Squadron reformed on June 11 to prepare for the delivery of the Northrop Grumman MQ for Sea Triton remotely piloted aircraft system. The squadron has a proud wartime history, serving during World War II and the Vietnam War. Initially formed in 1939, 9 Squadron saw active service during World War II in the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian and Pacific Oceans, receiving 12 battle honors. Following its initial disbandment in 1944, 9 Squadron reformed 61 years ago on June 11, 1962, as a helicopter squadron undertaking active service in the Vietnam War. The squadron was then disbanded again in 1989. Now, 9 Squadron will reform in 92 Wing Surveillance and Response Group. The headquarters will be located at RAF Base Edinburgh and most Triton operations will occur from RAF Base Tyndall. Triton will form part of Australia's maritime intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability, complementing Air Force's P-8A Poseidon. The two aircraft systems will provide a leading-edge maritime patrol and response capability for Australia. Chief of Air Force Air Marshal Rob Chipman said the re-establishment of 9 Squadron marked the beginning of a new era in the squadron's distinguished history. 9 Squadron has played an incredibly important role in the Royal Australian Air Force, serving during critical times for Australia's security, Air Marshal Chipman said. I'm proud to see the squadron return to service in 2023. Officer Commanding 92 Wing Group Captain Paul Carpenter said that as Air Force enters its second century, the MQ, for Sea Triton represented a fundamental change in utilizing air power. Uncrewed aerial systems offer enormous potential to capitalize on the opportunities provided by modern payloads and increased endurance, Group Captain Carpenter said. This will deliver unprecedented persistence and awareness over the maritime domain in support of the integrated force. The reformation of 9 Squadron was announced by Defence Minister Richard Miles, during the 2023 Australian International Air Show. Defence expects the delivery of its first Triton, including the relevant ground and support systems, next year. The Australian government confirmed in its 2016 Defence White Paper that the Royal Australian Air Force was to acquire 7 MQ for Sea Triton aircraft as part of its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability stream. On 26 June 2018, Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull announced the purchase of the first of six MQ, for Sea Tritons with consideration being given to purchase a seventh. In 2022, Australia had placed orders for three Tritons. A further three or four may be ordered in the future to meet a RAF requirement for six to seven of the type. Number 9 Squadron was re-raised to operate the Tritons in June 2023 ahead of the expected delivery of the RAF's first Triton in 2024. The Northrop Grumman MQ for Sea Triton is a high-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, developed for the US Navy as a surveillance aircraft. Developed under the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance BAMS, program, the system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions ISR. Over vast ocean and coastal regions, continuous maritime surveillance, conduct search and rescue missions, and to complement the Boeing P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Triton builds on elements of the RQ for Global Hawk, changes include reinforcements to the airframe and wing, de-icing systems, and lightning protection systems. These capabilities allow the aircraft to descend through cloud layers to gain a closer view of ships and other targets at sea when needed. The sensor suites allow ships to be tracked by gathering information on their speed, location, and classification. The MQ for Sea System Development and Demonstration SDD, aircraft was delivered in 2012 and the MQ for Sea was expected to be operational by late 2015 with a total of 67 aircraft to be procured. Initial operational capability IOC, for the MQ for C was achieved in 2018 with full operating capability FOC, planned in 2023.